If you think corporations bought free speech before Now that they're human, they'll buy even more Yeah, their money has free speech and they buy the same Hello and welcome to the Alliance for Democracy's The Populist Dialogues. Part of the mission of the Alliance for Democracy is to establish a true democracy and to create a just society. I'm your host, David Delk. Today we have a special treat. Our guest is politically populist folk singer and friend of the Alliance for Democracy, Tom Nielsen. Tom has been singing since he was three years old. By 1970, he realized he had more in common with Vietnamese farmers than with Wall Street brokers. He became an anti-war organizer in the 60s. His music and his dedication to ending war for peace and justice and against corporate domination have inspired generations of Americans to resist the machine. Tom provides a voice for all those who believe in the power of folk music to affect change. His award-winning songs of humor and compassion on 13 CDs have been performed in 20 countries and on five continents. So welcome to the Populist Dialogues, Tom. Corporations are human, I just found out. What being human is all about. Citizens united, ancestral line. Their corporate gene is different from mine. Yeah, the science is in, there's nothing to doubt. Never get cancer, gonorrhea, or gout. Encephalitis, cystitis, neuropathy. Colitis, hepatitis, A, B, and C. Nephrosis, sclerosis, and heart disease. Halitosis, cirrhosis, and a pair of bad knees. They don't need a dentist or protection with sex. And they live forever, it's not that complex. Corporations are human, I just found out. What being human is all about Citizens United Ancestral Line Their corporate gene is different from mine People have faces and socks in a drawer Corporations are faceless here and offshore if you think corporations bought free speech before Now that they're human, they'll buy even more Yeah, their money has free speech to me, quite a shock Cause I never heard my money talk When a corporation has a colonoscopy Then I'll believe they're human like me Well, thank you for that intro, David. Yes, it's true. I was born and raised on a dairy farm where we had more cows than people. Everybody milked cows where I grew up. My grand We had three-generation household. My grandfather worked from 11 at night to 7 in the morning in the factory down the road, which was the largest employer in the community, and then came home and did the farming, and I always wondered when that man slept. And he's dead at 54. A lot of the men died young. And there are no more cows left in Sandhill. Four o'clock in the afternoon Border Collies call. Martin's on his John Deere. Jimmy's yelling his cabal. 
Barn doors open up for Holstein's. Each one knows her place. Catch your tail with dried manure. Whisk across your face. Catch your tail with dried manure. Whisk across your face. Music on the radio plays a country tune. Rhythm with the milk and machines and sweeping with a broom. We put in hay till midnight so we could beat the rain. This farm is family, don't know no other name. This farm is family, don't know. They brought the bulk tank and the corporation truck. And one by one, the creameries in all the towns dried up. The GLF, SO station, and the general store, and the DNH, Hall and Freight don't stop here anymore. The DNH, Hall and Freight don't stop here anymore. I watch our fields go to four-lane highways and mobile homes. The kids don't see no future, and we're gone before we're grown. Can't imagine what the cost, how to measure what we've lost. When our fields go to four-lane highways and mobile homes, go to four-lane Swimming holy lovers lane where we used to go to take a dip for hanging out or to watch a campfire glow. There's posted signs in our face. Don't these people know how to live in a place and not shut off the flow? Don't let our fields go to four lane highways and mobile homes. Parking lots and fast food spots and another banker's loan. Can't imagine what the cost, how to measure what we've lost. When our fields go to four lane highways, mobile home, go to four lane Late night at the factory can run a farmer down. Milking cows and growing crops is full time all around. Working hard to build a home is what these farming folk have known. Till you find them in the sand hill cemetery ground. Till you find them in the sand hill cemetery ground. Don't let our fields go to four-lane highways and mobile homes. Shopping malls, can we stop the wall from taking what we own? Can't imagine what the cost, how to measure what we've lost. When our fields go to four-lane highways and mobile homes, go to four-lane So when I graduated from college in 1970, I, I knew in no way could I go and support this war effort in Southeast Asia. And what Dave said is true. I felt I did have more in common with Vietnamese farmers and with the Wall Street brokers. And I went to South America. And even though I was a history major and I thought I knew a lot about the world, it was leaving the country, which was probably the, the most important decision I ever made in my life. And it opened up the world to me. It taught me an enormous amount about the world, and it also taught me an enormous about an, an enormous amount about the United States. There's a drone in the air in Pakistan.
Paramilitaries on Columbia plan. Sam Sarah, we was hanging from a crane. Shell and Chevron in Ogoni domain. Rahm Emanuel can bully junior senators to vote for war in Afghanistan. And Gates and Clinton can rattle their sabers to make combat with Iran. Oh, you can feel how you will every time you see old glory unfurled. But these colors don't run. These colors don't run. These colors don't run the world. Obama says we've lost South America, but I can still find it on a map. He says we need 20,000 mercenaries so we can occupy Iraq. You can blockade the people of Cuba. You can blockade information flow. You can bomb Vietnam to the Stone Age and torture in Guantanamo. And you can feel how you will every time you see old glory. These colors don't run. These colors don't run the world. You can build a wall on the border with Mexico. Build another in Palestine. Build a wall in the minds of our people while the truth you undermine. You can love this country. kill civilian populations, destroy their clinics and their schools, their cropland and water systems, till we decide which the most rules. You can say they hate our freedoms, but look at the damage that we've done to get every These colors don't run. These colors don't run. These colors don't run the world. Yeah, these colors don't run. These colors don't run. These colors. So the great thing about leaving the country was that it opened up the world. And after South America, where I was from 70 to 74, I went to West Africa and then later to East Africa. I worked in Europe for a while. And in the dozen odd years, I have been out of the States, largely in the ploy of, of the U.S. government and the U.N. The one thing that I have learned is the greatest fear our government has is the fear of the truth. Used to be our enemies had a piece of land like with oil in Iraq, pipeline in Afghanistan. Indians and Mexicans brought up cavalry cause they were in the way of manifest destiny. Tell 
you Ellsberg was once the most dangerous man for telling the truth about the war in Vietnam and Bradley Manning's murder footage was too graphic of you Edward Snowden told us all what we already knew That the NSA is taking notes on everything we do Is it worse that they're spying or covered up when lying With their files on where we go and with whom It's called so blow and everybody should be knowing About corruption, waste and abuse in Guantanamo, Tom Drake, the NSA, for a billion bucks a dough, Bradley Manning's murder footage was too graphic, of U.S. conduct clearly sociopathic, it's all so low and everybody should be knowing about corruption. crime to tell the truth. I was on the road in Buffalo on my way to Canada to go to a gig in Detroit. Seems they had me in a file as long as a quarter mile about the songs I sing and every joint. They took my passport, put my truck in detention and submitted me to interrogation I escaped captivity now only outlaws will be free living outside the law in and out of this nation it's called whistleblowing everybody should be knowing about corruption waste and abuse transparency is treasonous democracy is dangerous it's a crime to tell the truth Transparency is treasonous, civil liberties are dangerous. It's a crime to tell the truth. I'm asked frequently to write songs for people. A lot of environment work, uh, a lot of peace and justice groups. And last year I was asked to write a song about military veterans in VA hospitals who were discriminated against because they did not put on their intake form a religious designation. Some of them would might put non-theist or atheist and because of that they felt that they were slighted from bedside care at these hospitals. So this humanist group that invited me to do a show asked me if I would do a song for these veterans. They sent me letter, letters that the veterans had written to the BAs. They sent me letters that the families had written. And from that, I came up with this song. My name is Jim Barney. I served in the Army. At Utah, come under attack. And it never mattered what I believed. My platoon knew I had their back. For 40 years I taught bio and chem Coaching baseball was my job But I couldn't teach Boy Scouts astronomy Cause I didn't believe in God If I don't believe in God I can't teach the constellations If I don't believe in God I can't play among the stars If I don't believe in God I'm a danger to the boys Can't give any merit badges If I don't 
believe in God. My name is Bill Davy, I served in the Navy, caught up in that Vietnam fight. And I know we shouldn't have been over there, but I did what I thought was right. And I saved the life of a sailor as those waves come over the rail. And it never mattered what I believed when I delivered your mail. But if I don't believe in God, no one comes my way. When I'm dying of cancer at the local BA. There were priests and ministers, imams and rabbis all coming to pray. But the chaplain must think I'll be burning in hell for what he had to say. There were Lutheran and Catholic clerics to comfort the Nazis at Nuremberg. But atheist memories never were honored in any words I ever heard. We died in your wars, up for PTSD and addictions all the same. Give us a treatment program that isn't in God's name. No help for the heathen. No prayers at my bed. No stairway to heaven. What the chaplain said. No God in my foxhole, no Lord at my side, no bedside manner when the secular humanist died. No God in my foxhole, no Lord at my side, no bedside manner when the secular humanist died. very much good thank you Tom yeah we really appreciate you being here and um, it was great thank you yeah, thank you thanks for inviting yeah. me. so our guest today has been folk singer Tom Nielsen if you liked him and his music please visit his website www.tomnielsen.com and I want to let you know that Tom is currently organizing a 36 state tour uh, maybe you'd like to sponsor him in your community. If so, you can contact him now to make that scheduling arrangement uh, at TomNielsenMusic at Yahoo.com. Don't forget, you can watch Populist Dialogues on YouTube. Go to YouTube.com slash Populist Dialogues to view most of our past shows. And when you're there, click on the subscribe button so when a new program is uploaded, you'll automatically receive an email notification. Populist Dialogues is now being seen in more places across the nation. In addition to our viewers here in Oregon, cable access stations, stations in Modesto and Sacramento, California are now able to watch each week. And they are joining folks in Spokane, Boston, Sheboygan, uh, Urbana, and elsewhere. So welcome to all those new viewers. You can help us expand our viewership even further. Contact your local cable access station and see how you can sponsor a weekly broadcast of our program. Such suggestions are usually quite welcome. Populist Dialogues is a project of the Portland Alliance for Democracy. Learn more about us at afd-pdx.org and about our national organization at thealliancefordemocracy.org. So I want to thank Roger Bates, Joan Horton, Brad Leach, Janet Morris, and Tom Thomas for the volunteer time getting us on the air. And to all of you watching, thank you. I hope that we'll see you again next week. Bye. Remember NAFTA? The United States, Mexico, and Canada were to benefit from better jobs, enhanced environmental protections, improved trade balances, in order to build a stronger middle class. Instead, American jobs and manufacturing were sent abroad, 
Mexican farmers were forced to migrate to the United States, and environmental standards went under attack. NAFTA has been a race to the bottom for jobs, wages, and environmental standards. Now President Obama is negotiating a NAFTA on steroids for the Pacific Rim. And he's doing this in secret. What do they have to hide? Call your congressional representative today at 202-224-3121 and demand a copy of the Trans-Pacific Partnership text. We need to know what's being done in our name before it becomes law. Learn more at OregonFairTrade.org and get involved now with the Oregon Fair Trade Campaign. If you think corporations bought free speech before Now that they're human, they'll buy even more Yeah, their money has free speech to me, quite a shock Cause I never heard my money talk When a corporation has a colonoscopy Then I'll believe they're human like me.